Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D that is uh, fully circumscribing uh, the circle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, these uh, points uh, E, F, uh, G and uh, H uh, are our points of uh, tangency and moreover uh, this uh, side uh, A, D is uh, 21 units. Likewise, uh, this other side uh, C, D is uh, 18 and this side uh, B, C is uh, 12 units. And finally, this side uh, A, B is being represented by X. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X. In other words, uh, we are going to calculate uh, this side length uh, A, B. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's uh, talk about uh, this quadrilateral uh, ABCD. And this uh, quadrilateral is called uh, the tangential quadrilateral. And it is defined uh, as a convex uh, quadrilateral whose uh, sides are all tangent to a single circle inside uh, that quadrilateral as you can see in this uh, given diagram and we can see all the sides of this uh, quadrilateral are uh, tangent to this uh, circle inside it as you can see these are points E, F, G and H are the point of tangency and moreover we can see that this is a convex uh, quadrilateral in other words uh, all uh, these uh, angles uh, of this uh, quadrilateral uh, are uh, less than 180 degrees and now we are going to go over uh, Pitter's uh, theorem according to this theorem in a tangential quadrilateral uh, the sum of uh, its two opposite uh, sides are uh, equal in other words uh, mathematically this side length uh, AB plus uh, this uh, opposite uh, side length uh, CD I can write uh, a B length plus uh, C D length must be equal to this side length uh, A D I'm going to write down A D plus uh, this other opposite uh, side length uh, B C so therefore our uh, Peters uh, formula is going to be A B plus C D is always going to be equal to A D plus uh, B C for this uh, tangential uh, quadrilateral and now in this uh, next step we are going to calculate uh, the value of this uh, x uh, by using this uh, Pitts uh, formula and now we can see our this uh, side a b length uh, is x our this uh, c d side length uh, is uh, 18 so therefore in this uh, formula i am going to replace this uh, a b length uh, by x C D length by 18 and now we can see our A D length is 21 and our B C length is 12 so therefore I'm going to replace this A D length by 21 and this B C length as 12 so therefore this equation is going to become X plus 18 equals to 21 plus 12 now let's go ahead and combine the like terms so we can write x uh, plus 18 is going to be equal to 33 let me subtract 18 uh, from both uh, sides and here we can see this is gone so therefore our x value turns out to be 15 units so thus our x value turns out to be 15 uh, units in other words, uh, this uh, side uh, AB length uh, is uh, 15. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to show you the proof uh, to this uh, Pitts uh, theorem. And now let's recall the two tangents uh, theorem. According to this theorem, uh, if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same uh, external point, uh, then they are congruent, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here we can see that these uh, two segments uh, OA and this segment uh, OB are uh, congruent to each other. So therefore in our case uh, this uh, 
segment uh, a f uh, is going to be congruent to this uh, segment uh, a e likewise uh, this segment uh, d e is going to be congruent to this segment uh, d h and this segment uh, c h uh, is going to be congruent to c g and finally this segment uh, b g is going to be congruent to this uh, segment uh, b f and now let's assume that this segment uh, a f uh, is uh, lower case a then this uh, segment uh, a e is going to be lower case a as well and now let's make an observation we can see this whole uh, side length is uh, 21 and this uh, side length a e is lower case a therefore uh, this uh, e d length is going to be 21 minus uh, a if this side length uh, is uh, 21 minus a then this uh, side length uh, is going to be 21 minus a as well and now we can see that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, is uh, 18 and this side length is 21 minus a so therefore uh, this segment uh, ch is going to be simply 18 uh, minus uh, 21 uh, minus uh, a and now let's simplify that is going to give us 18 minus 21 plus uh, a and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, a minus 3 so therefore uh, this segment ch turns out to be a minus 3 if this segment is a minus 3 then this uh, bcg segment is going to be a minus 3 as well and now we can see that this whole uh, side length uh, is uh, 12 and this side length is a minus 3 so therefore uh, this uh, bg segment is going to be 12 minus uh, a minus 3 let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 12 minus a plus uh, 3 that is going to give us uh, 15 minus uh, a so if this uh, segment uh, is uh, 15 minus a then this uh, bf segment is going to be 15 minus a as well and here's our final step we can see that this uh, x is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two segments uh, af plus uh, this segment uh, fb so if we add uh, these two segments a and then plus uh, 15 minus a let me write down a plus uh, 15 minus uh, a and we can see that uh, this uh, negative a and positive a is uh, gone so therefore when we add these two segments uh, that is going to give us uh, 15 so thus our x value turns out to be 15 uh, units by using the two tangents uh, theorem and that's our proof thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye